now we come to the eight sakis lalita saki look at her how beautiful she is she is the leader she is the first asht saki the primary asht saki she is the param guru in vrindavan she is 27 days older than radha even though she is a confidant of the divine couple she is more inclined towards radha so there are two types of variations here there are some gopis who are more inclined towards krishna and there are some who are more inclined towards radha so the one who are more inclined towards radha will be you know siding with her in her quarrels and those inclined towards krishna will be siding with him and there are some who are in between so there are a lot of things going on in vrindavan she is khandita with a contrary and hot tempered nature and she frequently retorts outrageously to increase the intensity of loving affairs between the divine couple so she is hot tempered yesterday we were talking about the fierce goddesses oh boy these women can be very fierce and lalita is an example of she has a fiery personality and she can scold krishna and he will be standing like this when she scolds him she can scold radha also why you're paying him so much importance why can't you ignore him just look the other way when he's trying to dilly dally with you don't give yourself away so cheaply she'll scold radha also she has a bright yellow complexion she wears garments the color of peacock feathers she is an expert in arranging rendezvous of radha and krishna and and their conjugal fights she is brilliant in composing and understanding riddles there are too many to list here and her mother is sharada devi father is vishoka and her husband is bhairav who can console radha when she is in pain who has the capacity she is alladini shakti herself only the sakhis can do that only the parampreshta like lalita vishakha these are the ones who can console radha they have that capacity alladini allad allad is the pleasure potency all the pleasure in the world comes from her all the love in the world comes from her so vishaka sakhi was born almost at the same time as radha and same day she wears a blue garment with white dots resembling a sky full of stars her bodily complexion is like lightning and her father and mother she is expert in the subject of ecstatic love she is an expert in carrying messages of the couple and in consoling the couple when they are separated from each other she is skilled in performing magical shows illusory activities in drawing beautiful drawings on the floor making tilak flower decorations etc so out of the 64 kalas all of them are experts in many many of them they are never separate lalita vishakha are never separate from radha and if you see in the temples in especially in iskon temples there will be two gopis on two sides of radha krishna and those are lalita and vishakha always on radha side always lalita will be there and on krishna side vishakha will be there then the third sakhi is champaklata <coughs> she is one day younger than radha she is her complexion is like a champak flower she wears colors the dress of a king fisher she is in charge of all the gopis who are engaged in taking care of the trees plants and creepers of vrindavan she is an expert cook who knows all the literature describing the six flavors of gourmet cooking she is expert in the art of logical persuasion so nobody can beat her arguments and so there are many enemies no like i said there are two camps she can convince the other camp and they have to accept defeat when she is arguing with them she is a skilled diplomat who knows how to thwart shrimati radharani's rivals so they have both these camps have a network of spies and uh, they are called dutis 
and they are always knowing where Krishna is going, who he is meeting, what he is doing, what time appointment is given to which girl in which place. So if they are rival camp, then they will try to thwart him and you know do other things. So they are very busy people there. She is a Vasaka Sajja Naika. Her nature is Vam Madhya and her seva is to offer jewel necklaces and a fan with a charmer. Charmer is that whisk, no? That is the seva she does when they are sitting together. So all of them have a particular nature, like her nature is Vam Madhya, which means to the left, but not too much to the left, more towards the center. Then the third one is Chitra. She is 26 days older than Radha. She knows many languages. She can know the taste of food just by looking at it. Oh, oh, there's less salt in this. You can't serve this to Krishna. And she knows how to make many beverages. She can play music on pots filled with water. She knows astronomy, astrology. And she knows everything about botany. So, lots of colors. These are just few of them. We come to the fifth one, Tunga Vidya Saki. She is the Acharya of Rasa Shastra, Niti Shastra, dance, drama, literature. So when you see the gopis, one of them is sitting with this big sitar or whatever, that is, will be Tunga Vidya. She's an expert musician and singer. But the best singer of all is Lalita Saki. Uh, Lalita Saki incarnated as Haridas Prabhu in Vrindavan. He was a guru of Tansen and Beju Bhavra, Haridas Thakur. So his temple is there in Niduvan in Vrindavan. And it is because of his sadhana and his tapasya that the Banke Bihari deity emerged from the earth. That Banke Bihari deity is the most famous temple in Vrindavan today. And in, the, in, the, in his temple, the Ras Leela happens still today every day at night. After 8 o'clock, nobody is allowed to stay there. You have to leave the place. Because you cannot witness that. I have seen with my own eyes, it's filled with monkeys, no Vrindavan. As soon as it is 8 o'clock, all the monkeys, hundreds of them, they leave that place. I've seen them come out of the temple. Nobody is, no being can be there. If somebody tries to, oh, I'll watch the Ras Leela in the night, then it has happened a few times, but they either become deranged or they are found dead in the morning because you can't contain that energy. So they're very strict about it. Nobody can stay there. All the shrubs which are there, it's filled with shrubs. It's unbelievable. I don't, I wish I had shown a picture to, to you. All the shrubs, they are maybe of this height, their branches are coming down, touching the earth, the dust of Vrindavan. You will not find such trees anywhere there. All the branches are going downwards. And the, the limbs, they're very old, thousands of years old, those shrubs. And they really look like the bodies of gopis. So they are not allowed to be touched because they are the gopis. Then, the seventh one, uh, the sixth one is Indulekha. She's three days younger. She has a lemon yellow complexion. She wears the garments the color of a pomegranate flower. Her nature is warm prakhar, contrary and hot-tempered. She's skilled in Naga Shastra and palmistry and chanting mantras. Here are Tunga Vidya and Indulekha Sakis. They are guarding the kunja when the couple, divine couple is meeting. Nobody is allowed. So once what happened, when Radha goes to meet Krishna in the jungle, uh, her, her sister-in-law, Kutila, mother-in-law is Jatila, and sister-in-law is called Kutila. And her husband's name is Ayan. She runs to Ayan and says, I was telling you, you know, there's something going on with your wife and that boy. Come, I've seen her going into the forest. Come, I will, I'll give you proof today. So she takes him to where she thinks Radha has gone to meet him. And she has gone to meet him. And Krishna is there and they're having a meeting. 
and as she approaches, she is just about to pounce on them, that Krishna comes to know. Yogamaya sends, transmits a very urgent SOS to him. Danger, 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 danger. And she has told her mother-in-law she is going to the temple to worship uh, the goddess. And she is carrying all those things. So when he hears, she can, he can almost hear the footsteps. So when they both come, her husband Ayan finds that she is worshipping Kali. Kali is standing like this and she is offering flowers. At. So Krishna immediately transforms into Kali. And he says, see, you are always after my wife. Look how powerful she is. She can never do anything wrong. Stop being after her. So, all the efforts of Kutila are foiled. So, Krishna and Kali, there's a very interesting thing that goes on between the two of them. He takes on the form of Kali also. So, Krishna and Kali are... And see, Krishna, Kali, they are both black. There is something going on there. The seventh Sakhi is Rangadevi. She loves to make jokes, funny jokes, and she's always getting them laughing. She knows how to start fires in winter and how to keep them cool in summer by offering sandalwood. And her bhav is Utkanthita. That is a naika who repeatedly glances down the path in anticipation. And the last is Sudevi Sakhi. She's the twin sister of Rangadevi, so they are both twins. She also wears a red dress, the color of a hibiscus flower. She is Kala Hantarita. She is very sweet and gentle by nature otherwise. She is always by Radha's side. She is a very swift runner. She coordinates the entire network of spies. And these spies will disguise themselves. Sometimes they become little boys. And the spies are very short. These, they, are, they are the... They are called manjaris. They are very short in height. Little girls and they, they look like 10, 12 year old. And they can enter everywhere, no, because they are small. Nobody notices them and they come back with a lot of information. She is skilled in training birds to talk and do tricks. She decorates Radharani's hair, her eyes. She puts coal in the eyes and massages her. And she's an expert in handling boats. I mean, just look at this. <laughs> From where to where the thing goes. So these are the Ashtasakis. Sakis. 